Shocking new accounts have emerged of mass graves of hundreds of Palestinians at the Al Nasser medical complex, killed by Israel following the withdrawal of Israeli occupation forces from Khan Yunis earlier this month. The shocking discovery follows previous reports of mass graves at Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza City following a two week siege. Palestinians on the ground say they've seen evidence that victims were bulldozed, beheaded, hands and legs bound while some of those executed appear to have been bandaged and injured at the time they were killed. Sources say it's unclear if some of the human beings were even dead at the time they were buried. But I will show you something. A dead body in front of me with bandage or bandages in the leg. He or she was injured when they killed him. The Israeli army killed him and buried him in a mass grave. Look there. He was injured, or she was injured, and they killed him for her. In addition to countless other human rights violations and violations of international law, killing injured people in hospitals is a direct violation of the Geneva Convention. Mainstream media, however, has scarcely covered this story, instead focusing on the situation at a university as part of the coverage of Israeli students feeling upset about Israel being called an apartheid force. The news of mass graves comes just days after the United States announced plans for billions of dollars in further military aid for Israel. Western governments are not complicit in the crimes committed by Israel, but are directly responsible for them. The media's refusal to talk about the mass graves is preventing the governments they are supporting from answering questions about the funding role and responsibility they play in Israel's genocide of the Palestinian people. The same talking point of Israel defending itself is being repeated even in the face of yet more evidence of Israel murdering the defenseless, including the injured and children. Israel keeps talking about Israeli hostages, but every single Palestinian in Gaza is a hostage and is trapped in a prison with no defense against an occupying force ethnically cleansing the land and which views all Palestinian life as a threat and target.